Hi all, on a uh, nice share day, I've just got a nice little uh, tool to show you that we can add to Google Chrome. Okay, so first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to go onto our uh, Google Chrome and our college page. Okay, and I'm actually going to sign in first, so I've signed in. I'm going to go to my Google, and I'm going to sign in there. Okay, so everything's signed in. Okay. And just wait for my Google Drive to pop up. Okay, while that's doing that, it's just signing in, redirecting. On the top right hand side here, you will notice my little add ons that I've already got. And you've got a settings pre bar there. Just navigate down to settings, go to extensions. And go down the bottom until you see get more extensions and what we're going to be looking at is we're going to be looking at a gmail notification um, but the best thing about this gmail notification is that we can actually stipulate what we want a notification on so it is called checker plus for gmail so just let's just find that and there it is there this is a free add-on for google chrome so just click on the blue icon add okay it'll ask for permissions maybe uh, to actually go on and as you can see checker plus has been added to chrome use this extension uh, okay you don't risk break basically and as you can see it's nicely grayed out there i'll just close that bar okay what it does it brings you up into um this green programmer configuration page i'm not going to do it from there i'm going to show you how we can do it from here but it brings up the same thing so if I click on my Gmail okay you can see my account is already there okay I can actually compose a new mail from here I'll show you how to do that and this is the settings here so I'm going to go into settings and configure it a little bit so go into options and in the notification here you can actually change uh, what type of sound you want as your notification you can put on voice notification so it will tell you who the mail is from it's very good okay uh, and i'll leave that there so you can actually uh, hopefully hear it uh, maybe not but if you try it yourself then that's great then i'm just going to go over to general and this just gives you general information so we can open checker plus pop-up window so that will come up down here where your uh, taskbar is okay and then what we need to do is we need to go into accounts and as you can see mine is auto detecting signed in accounts because i've just signed in so it should actually have your account there what you can do is actually add an account to actually stay signed in so i'm just going to add click ok add and it will pop up with your accounts if you've got your private account open as well you just click the one you want accept and it will put it in for you now you will always be signed in now that's the benefit of it now if we just move down slightly we can just click open inbox uh, by gmail instead of gmail okay this application um, but what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to stipulate well if i do inbox that means everything so i'm going to get my google plus when somebody's posted something on there um i'm going to get somebody when they modified a document or inserted a comment into it and i don't necessarily want them they're not that important i can always go to gmail itself and actually look at them particular emails what i would like is most important emails so i'm going to tick on the important emails and also the primary emails and i'll show you that in a minute okay now everything was fine there i haven't had any validation when i've ticked them to if i tick the inbox again it will come up with a validation i recommend only selecting one of the three main labels inbox important old mail or primary because they're the ones that we can see on our tops on gmail simple reason being our inbox has already got primary and important mail as part of it so therefore because we've asked it to do it again we may actually get duplicated notifications so i'm just going to take the tick out of that okay once that's done i'm pretty much happy 
There's other things that you can do like voice input. So you can actually enable voice input to compose emails. A bit like what you can do now with Google Documents with um, speech recognition. So it'll actually type it out for you via your voice. Okay, so a nice little add on there. Okay, so I'm happy with that, so I'll close that. As you can see, I've got no emails, okay, so I haven't had any uh, notifications. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to my Google uh, College page. I'm going to go to my normal Outlook web, and I'm going to create a new email, and I'm going to send it to my Gmail. Okay, and there it is there. And I'm going to call this test four. Okay, and there you go. And as you can see, I've just called kind of more. So I'll just say hello. Okay, there we go. Uh, exclamation mark. Right. And I'll just send it. And we'll just see what happens. It may take a couple of seconds for us actually to get across uh, from one place to another place. So this is the boring part, okay, and the anticipation part, okay. We'll, we'll just wait, keep waiting, okay. Oh, there you go. Uh, Hello, kind regards to you. Okay, as you can see, the notification done a sound notification uh, with a beep. But it also gave me a voice notification telling me who it was from, what the subject was, okay, which is quite good. Then I don't even have to open the email. But this is how you can do it. So as you can see here, we can click on this icon here. It will show you who sent the email, uh, what the contents was. But the best thing about this is we can actually read the information directly from here. Or we can actually open it up and it comes into a bigger window. Okay. And then we can either delete it directly from here or we can actually go to the next email. So if I just go there and there's the next email. And can you see that it's only picking up from primary? Okay, so let me show you how I've set that up on my Gmail. So if I just go back now to my uh, college, close that, go to my Google, go to my mail. Okay, and there you go. And there's the test that I've done. Okay, I tested it a few times before I actually got this video right. Um, but as you can see, I've got a primary tab. Okay, and that's what I've associated it to. I'd like you to just play around with this. And if you've got any questions, any feedback that you'd like to give, just give us a shout. Absolutely no problem. I'm only too willing to help anybody who wants to try this particular uh, Checker Plus. Thank you for your time.